Currently, astronomical headlines are dominated by one topic, the acclaimed deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope. In light of this, however, we should not forget that many other technical devices are currently performing their galactic service, such as the Mars rover Perseverance. At this very moment, while you are watching our video, the land vehicle is searching for traces on the reddish shimmering surface of the celestial body that should help us understand our planetary neighbor better than ever. Which tasks Perseverance will dedicate itself to in the coming years, and which unexpected Mars discoveries have already been recorded, we'll show you in today's video. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay updated from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you motivate us and show that we can keep you excitingly informed with the content of our posts. Mars 2020 on February 18th, 2021, the time had come. NASA's lander successfully touched down on the surface of the red planet, covered in iron oxide dust. In addition to the Mars rover Perseverance mentioned at the beginning, however, this also applied to its technical colleague, Ingenuity, the first helicopter drone in history to be deployed on a celestial body other than Earth. At the heart of the Mars 2020 mission is a central question. Can traces indicating the existence of life be found on our neighboring planet? In view of the arid desert world that the celestial body embodies today, the answer to this question seems clear at first. However, the matter is somewhat different if we turn back the wheel of time by a few billion years. At that time, Mars not only had a much denser atmosphere, but also rich water resources. The fact that the planet accommodates higher or even intelligent life forms is categorically excluded. In the ranks of the experts, however, primitive micro life forms, or in other words, microbes, that live in the radiation protected depths of the soil, on the other hand, are conceivable. Which brings us back to the use of perseverance. To gain information about possible life on the red planet, the $2.5 billion instrument will analyze rock samples for biosignatures study geological processes, and collect data on the general geological evolution of Mars. It will also study the celestial body's climate and pave the way for the age of manned Mars missions. For example, the rover will convert carbon dioxide into oxygen and evaluate the corresponding results. On April 20th, 2021, this endeavor was put into practice on an alien planet for the first time in the history of space travel. Within one hour, 5.4 grams of oxygen were produced from carbon dioxide, enough breathing air for 10 minutes. A dried up river delta in the Jezero crater was chosen as the landing site until about 3.5 billion years ago, there was an extensive Martian lake here, which reached a depth of 820 feet. But why did the experts actually decide to bring a small helicopter to Mars with ingenuity? In view of the fact that the merely four-pound device carries no instruments other than cameras, it's clear that Ingenuity serves primarily as a test model for upcoming flying objects on the Red Planet. So far, the drone has met this pioneering requirement brilliantly. On April 19th, 2021, the helicopter rose 10 feet above the surface of Mars and maintained the scheduled flight altitude for just under 40 seconds. While we are already eagerly awaiting the insights that Perseverance will provide us with in the foreseeable future, we take this opportunity to take a look at a literally shattering observation made by NASA's InSight spacecraft. Strongest Mars Quake Ever While Perseverance mission is just getting off the ground, InSight's is also coming to an end. Landed on Mars on November 26, 2018, the secondary mission is already scheduled to end this year. In the run-up to the project, the probe, which weighs just under 1,545 pounds, was given a number of basic objectives. In summary, the lander, equipped with a heat flow probe and a seismometer, was to analyze the early geological development of the celestial body. With the help of the knowledge gained, the understanding of the formation of Earth-like celestial bodies should be significantly deepened. 
From the data collected, the scientists concluded that Mars and our terrestrial home are quite similar in terms of structure. However, the red planet has a larger liquid core as well as a thinner crust than experts had predicted in advance. And the recently recorded observation, which hit the headlines a few months ago, is also expected to help further understand the inner workings of Mars. Specifically, InSight recorded a tremor with a magnitude of 5, making the event the strongest quake yet recorded on an alien planet. Unlike the other representatives of our planetary system, Earth is the only one that still has active plate tectonics. The tremors, which take place on the remaining celestial bodies, must therefore have other causes. Of the more than 1,300 Mars quakes that InSight has recorded so far, the one just mentioned stands out in particular. It would also have been clearly noticeable on Earth. In fact, experts are still arguing about the origin of the quakes on Mars. Up to now, researchers have only partially deciphered how the formation of the Martian mantle occurs in detail and to what extent magma currents or even a mantle convection exists there. If scientists succeed in unraveling this fundamental mystery, they will also come closer to answering another, no less exciting question. What caused the red planet to lose its global magnetic field in the past? Impossible material. In 2016, there was much excitement among experts. NASA's Curiosity rover recorded a proverbial impossible find on the red planet in a rock sample from the Gale Crater the device came across residues of the mineral tritomite. In detail, this was a certain quartz form, which is usually connected with silicic acid-rich volcanism. Thus, the mineral is formed when silicates are first strongly heated and then rapidly cooled. That this form of volcanism, which is accompanied by a high concentration of silicic acid, occurs in some places on Earth is well known, but that it could also exist on our neighboring planet nobody suspected until this discovery. At first, the scientists tried to find indications that tritomite can also be formed at lower temperatures. However, since this search for clues came to nothing, the assumption arose that Mars once became the scene of much more violent volcanic activity than previously assumed. However, a team of researchers from Rice University in Houston has now succeeded in providing a plausible explanation for the seemingly impossible. The magma in question must have remained in the underground chamber longer than usual, where it cooled somewhat over time. In the course of this, the silicate-rich portions of the red-hot mixture rose to the top. In the course of a violent eruption, mainly the silicate-rich material was ejected, which contained the later discovered tritomite. With the help of the wind, it was finally carried to the Gale Crater, which must have still contained water at that time. The characteristic weathering traces leave no doubt about that. Traces of life? One thing is certain, if life existed or even still exists on Mars, it must have left its traces there. After Curiosity encountered organic molecules on the red planet in the summer of 2018, the expert world was beside itself. Subsequent investigations showed that the methane concentration is also subject to regular fluctuations and is not evenly distributed, but is present in patterns of elevated concentrations. However, we still cannot say with absolute certainty where the methane in the Martian atmosphere really comes from. The relevant theories range from comet impacts to active volcanism to methane-producing microorganisms. However, these microorganisms would have to be at home at great depths, namely in those subterranean regions where the temperatures allow the presence of permanently liquid water. Although methane can also be formed abiotically, up to 95% of all methane on Earth is produced biologically. While the International Space Agencies drop more and more complex equipment on the Red Planet, some clues to the existence of Martian life also come directly to our Earth. Foremost among these would be the Nakla meteorite, which struck near an Egyptian village in the early 20th century. In the context of an investigation, which was accomplished in the year 1999, the researchers discovered different amino acid and possible biomorph traces. Then, seven years later, a portion of the galactic rock was broken up to allow analysis of a contamination-free sample. In the process, the experts encountered many complex, carbonaceous materials that contained pores and channels in the rock. 
much like we know from terrestrial bacteria. However, this does not mean that the Martian meteorite provides incontrovertible proof of the existence of microorganisms on Mars. In fact, the majority of experts believe that the mere presence of these conspicuous forms is not enough to confirm Martian bacteria. And now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the exciting Mars discoveries we've presented to you today? Do you think there was once life on Mars? Or possibly still is? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.